Okay, we got take one here of <clears throat> M57, also known as the Ring Nebula. Seeing it through a Mulan 250 telescope running at f9.2. Magnification is 90-ish, 92 power. And uh, we have a Gen 3 unfilmed white phosphor image intensifier, which gets rid of the green look and adds something a bit more grayish, I guess you'd say. So, cameras, the Sony A7S, settings are 12,800 ISOs, and shutter is 1 60th. And what else can I to say about it? It's set to clear photo mode. I might want to change that later. And the, uh, oh, it's on auto white balance, I think. We might want to change that, too. But anyway, that is the ring. Um, nebula in Lyra. Look carefully, you might just barely make out traces of a central star. This is a real-time view, by the way. She's about <clears throat> 65, 70 degrees off the horizon, western sky, west of the meridian, shooting location Mount Pinos, California, at f9.2, 92-ish power. Pretty obvious signs of a planetary nebula there. Got some sparkling going on. That's the scintillation, electronic noise, and a somewhat slow optical system, but <clears throat> can definitely make out the structure of that thing. And you get it in real time. So anyway, take one of the Ring Nebula M57 in Lyra with a Gen 3 unfilmed white phosphor image intensifier. That's it.